when you take a look at uh, the uh, the avenues for revenue, so to speak, uh, you can broadly classify it into three: drone sales, like revenues that comes out of product sales; drone services, revenues that come out of uh, any form of industrial, agricultural, consumer drone services that you provide to our customers; and the data monetization and how you are able to uh, generate advisory services based on the data that is being collected by either a drone sale or a drone service. And I think that um, you know India has particularly been right now in a three to four billion dollar market size in terms of drones as a services as well as the data aspect because uh, we are seeing the massive adoption of um, drone services being utilized in agricultural spraying um, for pesticides and fertilizers. Farmers are currently spending 20 to 25,000 crores every single year to get their fields sprayed and they are using uh, inefficient manual uh, spraying technologies and now drone is disrupting that. So um, apart from that you see in several events and photography and consumer segments and industrial services that drones are playing a major role. Traditionally, you would see that uh, drone sales is considerably a smaller market compared to drone services. Uh, the, that entire market in 2021 was about uh, 300 crores, and uh, but that is now gradually increasing. And I believe that uh, in 2023-24, the drone sales market alone would touch anywhere between 800 to 1,000 crores. And uh, Garuda Aerospace will have a lion's share because we are already sitting on about 10,000 drones pre-booked for our um, agricultural Kisan drones that has been um, like you know endorsed by Mahindra Singh Dhoni. And at the same time, we're also seeing progressive government policies like loan for drones and also 50% subsidies for these agricultural drones, which is driving that adoption. So I believe over the next uh, year and a half to two years, the Indian drone ecosystem alone would be upwards of $3.5 billion, primarily uh, contributed from drones as a services, especially in precision agriculture and the consumer demand.